that could ever happen to the reputation of Bitcoin is Tether going down because people will not differentiate between the Tether crypto and the Bitcoin crypto. And so if we are honest about our desire to create counterparty risk-free assets, uncensorable assets, we have to build stable coins on Bitcoin. And more than that, if we're interested in seeing massive adoption of Bitcoin as a payment method, something that people can transfer to each other, it has to be um, something that people understand that is familiar and that is non-volatile and those are stable coins. And so for years and years and years and years, I've been saying that game over for Bitcoin, right? We win when we have Bitcoin backed stable coins. And I'm really excited by the fact that over the last year, we started to see a flourishing of Bitcoin backed stable coins. And there are now millions of dollars of Bitcoin backed stable coins and it's growing. And so it's really weird to me that more people and you know, like Brad, um, are as you said, from the uh, Bitcoin space, as you said, Bitcoin back stable coins. Better alternatives. As you said, Bitcoin back stable coins. I got that shiver, and I just thought about Do Kwan saying, "I want to be the biggest holder of Bitcoin ever to back my stable coin." Yeah, except that what Do Kwan did no, well, this, um, is he didn't create a Bitcoin back stable unfair. coin, right? He created a stable coin that was backed by uh, this nonsense token, right? And which was a circular loop. B Bitcoin is the most pristine mm. asset that we have in the entire crypto space and probably in the world. It is the perfect collateral. And the, you know, and the way the gold standard worked was that people weren't walking around with you know, gold coins in their pockets trying to pay each other. They had the US dollar, they had the, the, the Scottish pound, right? And th they could take those notes and redeem them for a set amount of gold. But they used the, the, the stable coin, right? They used the notes to make payments. And this is what we need to do with Bitcoin. If we want Bitcoin to be digital gold. and, and this Is, is there a happening. way to get that stable coin that, that you guys are building and make it so that it works on Lightning? Yes. It, uh, so we already have the ability to transfer it through Lightning uh, using submarine swaps. And what, and, uh, but that requires Bitcoin on one side and stable coin on the other side. But over the coming months, with the introduction of, of uh, taproot assets and, and, and standards like it, probably ZK coins as well, I expect what we're going to see is we're going to see people taking Bitcoin back stable coins and transferring them um, as uh, assets that are secured by the Bitcoin network directly and transacted over the Lightning network. And we'll have something which is cheaper. Are you, are you, following, um, are you following the latest... With Fediment and the coming eCash, uh, I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of yeah. I'll, I'll skip that one just because I don't, don't want to get too technical. And I was waiting to wrap. Oh my god, that's so to, much uh, more exciting than Ordinals. The, the e yeah, stuff, it, 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 we'll, we'll the do Fetty it. We'll do stuff. it next time. We'll do it next time. We'll do it next time. I promise. Don't and, sleep and on the layer three. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, but I mean, I mean, in all, in all seriousness, whereas I think Mario doesn't want to get into the weeds of the te the technicalities. I think we're all saying the same thing here. We want innovation on Bitcoin. The more innovation we have on Bitcoin, the more uh, attractive in, uh, Bitcoin is going to be as an yeah, asset, but, as a platform. But but you guys else. typically don't invest in the actual innovative things that are building on Bitcoin. No, typically come on, that's, that's, in that's, the, in, that's in, the, in the like the token a, stuff. Yeah, and come on, like that's, a terrible, that's, that's a terrible argument. Guys, guys, argument. that's a terrible guess, argument. No, it's a good, yeah. it's a good argument. I'm telling you, let's hey, guys, make a bet. The Feddy stuff is going to be so much more impactful than like Ordinal's pump and dump stuff in the future. I like that. All right, Mario, I'm totally willing to, willing to take uh, it. Yeah, there we go. Simon, Simon, give us, give us. I was going to Udi, I was going to, I was going to get Udi to wrap the space. So maybe get th Simon, no, no, give us Udi, his quick Udi, thoughts. Udi, Udi has had his, his hand up. So maybe yeah, yeah, I know, but that's why he'll have, he'll have the final longest words. The person that wraps the space is the guest of honor. So oh, uh, we're giving Udi the guest of honor oh, position. Oh, man. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> Simon, I'd love to get your thoughts on this, and then we'll go to Udi to, to wrap the space as our special guest, as uh, otherwise Ran will be upset, and he'll DM me, Mario, stop interrupting me. Simon? Yeah, okay. Uh, final thought. Yeah, I absolutely do want stable coins on top of Bitcoin. I want to be able to do a lot of what you could do on Ethereum on top of Bitcoin, but make sure we don't break it in the process. Uh, but I just want to say, uh, stable coins were invented on Bitcoin. People are rewriting history. Um, the first stable coin was on the Omni protocol, um, and we, we used it for a while and then Ethereum got faster and cheaper. So then it, it gradually started to do it. And now 
Tron got faster and cheaper, so people st gradually started to move over there. So stablecoins has kind of proven that if you can get it on Lightning and you can get the faster, um, cheaper, uh, then that has been the trajectory of stablecoins because it was originally invented on Bitcoin and, and it went it migrated to Ethereum later. Udi, pleasure to have you and um, would love to get your final thoughts on the discussion. And, and as you're giving your final thoughts, if you could touch on again, because I know there's a side that wasn't represented. Brad is here to, uh, to represent part of it. Um, so if we could give us a full summary of what was discussed and maybe um, the debates you've had on stage over the last few weeks, um, just for the audience to know where we stand on ordinals, kind of wrap the space. Mario, right, right before that, I'm sorry, we will go to you, but everybody see that hideous uh, red. Oh yes, the red circle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, crypto yeah, yeah. underscore town hall. It's there to um, attract you like a like a moth to a flame because it's so pretty. But we need you guys to all follow that account, crypto underscore town hall, because eventually that is where we will be posting from. So go follow it because it's such a awesome logo it's amazing you're so you're so bad you're so bad at you're so bad at shilling aren't you scott you're, yeah, you're so bad at this logo. i mean we love the logo we were married to it we really yeah ran ran thank you thank you for that great logo i thought Ryan. that anyway. was a, a a butthole actually you should be <laughs> follow the red butthole follow, follow the butthole, the red follow the red uh, butthole. <laughs> yeah so the red circle on stage also on the the top pin tweets if you want to come on the show as a sponsor or or um um, you know, have a chat with us. I think we do like AMA style chats. Just hit us up in the emails there or DM me or Ran, whatever you prefer. Um, Udi, the mic is yours. Yeah, thanks. So I think, you know, I think what it's, what's exciting about this period of time is really that Ornals showed that there are, you know, things you can do with Bitcoin we didn't consider before. And there are people who want to use it. Um, that to me is the most, you know, fascinating uh, feedback we got from from ordinals and you know like the, we could talk about oh is the most important use case is it stable coins is it um you know uh laser eyes are talking about fediments and and whatever there's a, there's a bunch of i don't know the, the point is i do not know i don't think any of us knows what the the best use case is going to be uh I, i'm a I, i'm a big believer of what Ron has said and you know this was this kind of ties into what Vitalik said in our interview as well, uh, which he said, look, the, the, maybe the best thing about Ordinals is that it recreates this culture of building on Bitcoin. And I, I know a lot of people heard that. Some people in the Bitcoin community were kind of um, uh, annoyed by that because they were like, well, we've been building for a long time. We didn't need Ordinals to build. And and I think it's true. But uh, what 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 happened with Ornals is it attracted a ton of attention from outside of the the smaller circles of honestly you know people who have been building on Bitcoin and it built, brought in you know thousands many thousands of new people who are really like passionate about building on Bitcoin. I think they're gonna some of them are gonna build you know ridiculous things that are not gonna go anywhere. Um, and but also I think there's a very good chance that some of them will find something that will end up being a really good use case for Bitcoin. Uh, Ordinals was, was was one of those things. When I first have heard of Ordinals, I thought they were silly. Um, but it ended up to just make sense. And I think that there are some other use cases like that that just make sense. And we need to be open to the idea of Bitcoin actually being permissionless and, and people building whatever they want. And I think we'll find some really amazing use cases for Bitcoin that will make everyone happy, even people who don't care about those new use cases. I think, guys, I think just uh, Mario, Scott, I don't know how much you know about Udi's history, but I think to hear those words coming from Udi's mouth, uh, in 2017, Udi was a full Bitcoin maximalist and any talk of any kind of innovation or any kind of experimentation was like, no, I'm a Bitcoin guy. I, I remember I actually met Udi in, in Israel where we, we, we met and I, I was always saying, look, let's innovate as much as we can. And he said, no, it's all about Bitcoin. And to hear Udi do a, a full three, a full 180 degree turn there is, that's all you need to know about how, how exciting this ordinal thing is. It doesn't matter about the JPEGs and whatever they're creating on there. It's, it's more about the idea that we should innovate and we should experiment as much as we can in good faith and in good spirit. Cool. Scott, final words? Great final words, Scott. Really appreciate it. I think you've... Oh, I you thought I was going to enter. Oh, I forgot. I, for... I honestly forgot about it. Uh, you seem so traumatized. For anyone that doesn't know us, you on the panel. Um, we have a... I have a habit. And again, I brought it to this space.